It's no wonder why it's difficult for people under to understand solar. People throw out terms like watts, volts, amp hours, amps, etc. without even knowing what they mean. In this video I will be focusing on two of the most critically misunderstood terms in solar and that is rate and capacity. Recently, while at a preparedness expo, I was talking to a guy selling a solar generator. I asked him what the battery capacity was on his generator, and he replied with a, it's 600 watts. I can't tell you how many times I see people making this classic mistake of using watts for capacity as in this situation. This salesman was insisting the capacity of his battery was 600 watts, when in reality, watts is a rate of power generated, or how fast you are using power. Much like gallons per hour is how fast water is flowing, or miles per hour is how fast your car is moving, watts is how fast you are using or generating electricity. A solar panel will be rated in watts for how fast it is capable of producing power. For example, if you have a 100 watt solar panel, that means the panel is capable of putting out a constant 100 watts of power. I often hear people ask how many watts a solar panel will generate in one hour. This again is using the wrong term. It's using watts or rate to identify capacity. This is like saying your car will travel 60 miles per hour in an hour. If a solar panel will put out power at a specific rate such as 100 watts, then in one hour it'll have generated 100 watt hours. Much like if you have a water faucet putting out 100 gallons per hour, it'll put out 100 gallons in one hour. For a car the rate would be miles per hour and if you were going 60 miles per hour for one hour you would travel 60 miles. Let's say you use a 100 watt solar panel for five hours in one day. You just generated 500 watt hours of power. Capacity is the amount of energy stored in a battery. It's usually given in watt hours or kilowatt hours. A kilowatt hour is simply 1000 watt hours. However, man, many batteries will list the capacity as amp hours. Since amp hours is not an amount of energy storage, it's not descriptive to give the capacity in amp hours unless you also give the voltage of the battery. For example, if you have a 12 volt battery that has 100 amp hours, you simply take the volts and multiply the amp hours to get 1200 watt hours. Now that is energy capacity we can use and know how much energy we have stored. You can also use watt hours to measure how many how much energy you use. For example, if you run a 60 watt light bulb for 1 hour, it used 60 watt hours. This would be similar to gallons for water or miles for a car. In summary, watts is the rate of power used or generated, watt hours is the amount of power used, gener generated or stored, and capacity is the amount of energy a battery is capable of storing. Congratulations! Just by learning these two simple terms you now know more than 90% of solar marketers.